Welcome everyone. We are mid-voyage on our 26th day odyssey aboard the Queen Victoria and we have now been moved to our second cabin on this voyage for our little four-nighter. We're in cabin 6057 so we were aft and now we're four. Yay. So here I'm going to give you a tour to see what a pretty standard balcony room looks like on Queen Victoria and their four by extension on Queen Elizabeth. Let's go in. So note that when you first embark your keys are actually going to be in an envelope here behind this little handy dandy letter holder we already had ours because we transited so we can't show you that but don't panic if you don't have keys when you get on board they'll be waiting for you at your room a lot of trust going on there let's go in so this is what the room will look like when you first embark uh, we have a living space very nice with a two-person sofa and that actually opens up into a sleeper bed believe it or not to turn this into a three-person cabin you have a nice little coffee table pretty standard a desk with a chair and if we go take a look at the desk you'll find some very important bits of paper upon it actually nice and neatly laid out for us we have keeping healthy on board which is of course how to uh, you know tell if you're sick okay Fair enough. Also hygiene and whatnot. And you'll also have your dining reservation. And this is interesting. It seems they have gone to completely open dining now instead of first seating and second seating, at least as far as we're concerned. So apparently we no longer have a set of table mates and a service team. And it, so on our last voyage, deck two was open seating, deck three was fixed seating. And we were going to see about switching to deck three and now I'm wondering if there just is no more fixed seating at all and it's all just open seating. Well, we'll find out about that soon enough. Okay, also awaiting us on our desk is the daily program. And for those who do not know, this is your guide to what's happening on any given day. And if you don't read it, you get punished by missing out on things that you requested to have happen, like afternoon tea dances. Just saying. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you've got your day's activities, um, little special explanations of certain highlighted items, shopping opportunities, um, major venues, things like that. And then on the back, and this is very important, you have your opening times for bars, restaurants, and facilities. And here you can actually see on the all day dining, it's going to tell you if the dinner buffet in the Lido has a theme or not. Sadly, tonight it does not. The best buffet that Cunard ever offers, in fact, the best food they ever offer is their Indian buffet. Hands down, amazing. So that's waiting you here on your desk. You also have your My Voyage, your how-to guide, which tells you in very important things like how to access My Voyage, their app, how to get contact your connect your internet, etc. etc. Also awaiting us was our voyage guide to make the most of your time on board, which mostly tells you uh, things like where you can go to spend money, how you can make dinner reservations at places that cost extra money, <laughs> shore experiences, which cost extra money, retail therapy, which costs money for certain, you know, spa treatments also, you get the drift. But hypothetically, ostensibly, it's a voyage guide. Also, and this we find very handy in general, it's a Cunard notepad and a Cunard pencil, and we use these quite a lot on our trip. Your balcony cabin, your balcony stateroom, excuse me, they don't like to call them cabins, even though it feels like a cabin from the size. You also have a little tea station, your own hot water kettle, Wedgwood uh, teacups or, and or coffee, depending on your preference, glasses for non-hot beverages, and an assortment of tea, everyday tea, little cookies or biscuits as some of you may call them, uh, Nescafe or instant coffee, disgusting, and whole milk and skim milk in little plastic tubes. Not the best, but there it is. Brown sugar, white sugar, and artificial sweetener. That comes as part of the room. Below that, we have a drawer, which is for us wasted space. It is the built-in hairdryer. Many of you though might use this to actually, you know, create a good look. I don't do that to my hair. So it just uses important space that we desperately need. Under this is your mini fridge. Um, it 
comes with nothing except for two chilled glasses, apparently. Oh, and I guess that's our cheese in there. Uh, often, there will be a bottle of bubbly in there waiting for you, complimentary of Cunard. However, I was informed that that's not happening today. I guess for a four-night voyage is not long enough to merit the expense. And then in the desk, there is also a drawer with your stateroom bar and dining information. And this is, of course, very important because this is your room service menu. And room service is available 24 hours a day. There are, however, certain foods that are only available at certain times. So they've got the day menu from 12 p.m. to 11 p.m. And then they have a night menu available from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. There's afternoon tea you can also get delivered as room service and also a brunch menu that you can get delivered as room service. And I'm going to tell you that actually a lot of the items on this menu you will never see on any of the menus at all anywhere in any restaurant, including the breakfast frittata or the huevos rancheros, which actually makes a much more interesting looking option <laughs> than their breakfast options tend to be for me. You will note though that there are a number of items now that come with a surcharge on this menu. For instance, the artis artisanal cheese plate comes with a surcharge. The uh, USDA green finished aged Angus sirloin steak comes with a surcharge. Right, there's, it seems to me that that's an increasing, an increasing phenomenon as time goes on. Canapes come with a surcharge. Caviar, of course, comes with a surcharge. So it's less and less of an, an inclusive sort of experience. And of course, your television guide, so that you can know what is on when it's on. They actually have. Uh, movie channels in German, Spanish, Japanese, French, and English. So lots of languages catered to there. Also, your very important, now the Wi-Fi. Uh, so Wi-Fi is different than it used to be. You can now basically, uh, you don't purchase minutes, you purchase a day pass or you purchase a voyage pass. And obviously it's the per day rate is cheaper if you purchase the voyage pass than if you buy the per day at a day like a la carte sort of situation and you have two different kinds you have essential which is you know barely enough um, bandwidth to open your email account and there's premium which is just enough bandwidth to open your email account <laughs> and maybe Facebook sometimes depending more on that in a more extensive discussion uh, also in your drawer if you are new to QNAR then you will see this little guy in the drawer right this is a handy dandy pocket sized map of the ship broken down by deck with you know, a key and labels. And um, then there's all the dining choices are also labeled on the back. You have all your dining options labeled, laid out nice and neatly here, and you can then find them on the map. So that is a really handy thing. In fact, I saw some people uh, perusing the dining choices on this map just now up in the Lido deck during the welcome brunch. So that is what will be awaiting you when you embark. Um, as for the, uh, you know, the, sort of the more important things like storage, both sides of the bed have a nightstand like this, which comes with three drawers of a not particularly roomy <laughs> nature. Um, but interestingly, under the bed, <laughs> Let's see if I can get to it with all our bags here. Under the bed, there is under the bed storage, two of these drawers, one under each bed, basically, because this is in essence, two beds, two twin beds that they put together when you want to actually sleep with your companion instead of apart from your companion. Then as storage goes, we also have the closet storage space. And actually, this is gonna sound terrible, but, uh, the you have more closet space in a standard stateroom, balcony stateroom, than you do in the Queen's Grill staterooms. <laughs> Definitely more, you have way more closet space, not more drawer space, but more closet space. Okay, so we have here, you've got some shelves you can use as you please. You've got a safe to keep your valuables well, you know. Uh, more shelving, and then under here at the bottom, you've got a hanging Thing that doesn't unfortunately pull out, but you can put your shirts and whatnot in here. And I feel like this is smaller than our last one. And a sign that this is a cruise line with class and also a dress code, there is a built-in tie rack 
on the cabinet door. So note that if you have ties, as you should if you created the Cunard, they have a nice place to hang them. Okay, then towards the door, you have your double door area for hanging all of my frocks, <laughs> which are already hung up. And that is because we transferred from one cabin to this one and they thankfully do that by moving all of your hung items. Up on top, you have more shelf space, good for shoes and whatnot. And of course your life jacket, which you should we should have more than one of these. There are two That's of us great. here. Oh, okay. And last of the closet space, you have another full length closet area. And this is where the full length mirror hides, which is very important for dressing yourself. So you can see me, the cameraman. Yeah, so, and, and you get complimentary pair of slippers, of Cunard branded slippers. We have quite a few of these at home. <laughs> Oh, oh, the band says made from recycled paper, the band, not, not the slippers, the big bulky thing that will create lots of waste, but the band that binds them together. I guess that's better than nothing. Well, this is the bathroom and it's a little hard to film because the space is tight. Um, as many of you have noted, the bathrooms are not super spacious and I mean, well. So you have your sink that's deep enough to do pretty much anything you need to do. Comes with some toiletries, some amenities. Um, this is hand and body lotion by Penhaligons. And this is liquid soap. And I know many of you uh, Cunarders are very displeased because it used to be that um, these were individual bottles and you all could take them home with you and maybe swipe them midway through and have them restocked and then take more home with you. And now I think I actually prefer this. This is a much more sustainable solution because now they refill these. You don't get to take these home with you guys. So they refill them as needed from bulk bins instead of constantly producing new plastic trash. I much approve of that. In the shower, this is the shower. It has a line here that you can use for drying your swimsuit. We use it for drying our laundry when we do laundry. Uh, the head is not particularly tall, so if you are a tall person, I'm sorry. Uh, here you also have more Penhaligon uh, products. You've got shampoo and you've got bath and shower gel, but no conditioner apparently. Um, the shower, you can adjust the temperature very precisely here. Well, you can adjust it whether it responds or not is a different question, of course. And it has a cloth. Oh, well, that just came off the hook. It, it has a cloth shower curtain, which as many of you have noted is annoying because it moves and it sticks to you as you're showering instead of a more solid glass one like they have in the grills or the queen's grills anyway. Um, yeah, so that is the bathroom. It is not exactly super spacious, but it's big enough for two butts to intimately squeeze in and accomplish things at the same time, basically. Right, well, I almost finished filming and then realized there's a really important feature to a balcony stateroom, and that's the balcony. <laughs> So, your balcony is here. Oh, look at that gorgeous view. Let's go out and take a look. So this is, comes with all balcony staterooms. They tend to be about this size. All balconies, all standard Britannia balconies come with a, two chairs that look like this, and you can actually lean it back a little bit and adjust it to get a bit of a lean, not too much, but a tad, enough to hint at a nap and your own little console table between you for ostensibly your afternoon cocktail or solo beverage of choice. And actually on our last voyage, our, this balcony, I wish we'd gotten footage, was crusted in sea salt. I mean, harvestable, massive sea salt crystals. It was amazing. Right, so this has, this is it. This is the standard Britannia balcony cabin, or excuse me, stateroom. What do you all think? Would you like to stay in a room like this? Too small, big enough? Honestly, it's it's big enough for our persons, but it's not currently big enough for our six bags. And there's a whole reason why we have that much luggage. It's not all for the cruise. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Otherwise, until next time, guys, travel creative. Do not like your lead. Mm -hmm. You gonna walk anywhere? <laughs> yes, we're following you. No, don't go in there. I can't follow that. <laughs> Yeah.
You want to go back inside? Hmm? Okay.